7 and 8 this is 8 so you can see outermost electrons of the sodium ion both 8 then we make 1 over here for the oxide ion we know that the oxide ion has a 2 negative charge which means that the oxygen atom has gained 2 electrons we make the outermost shell now initially it had 6 electrons yeah initially the oxygen atom had 6 electrons in its outermost shell 6 electrons it and then when this sodium atom when the I'm looking at the one above when this lost one electron that was gained by the oxide, oxygen and when the other sodium atom lost one electron even that was gained by the oxygen so it has gained two electrons you can see by these crosses that it has gained two electrons and that's why now it has eight electrons so it is stable so it's ha it has a two negative charge now both these will have plus plus and this is two negative so this is the dot and cross diagram for Na2O similarly you can make dot and cross diagrams for all other organ or all other ionic compounds like this yeah so it's very easy now let's move forward so properties of ionic compounds now one thing we need to know about ionic bonds is that ionic bonds are very strong okay ionic bonds are very very strong so when uh, we were talking about NaCl so when Na plus and Cl negative ions when they come together they form they form a structure called lattice which means it's a, it's a three-dimensional completely arranged structure it looks like this let me just quickly complete it it's three my three dimensional orderly structure it's called a lattice structure it's an alternating arrangement of positive and negative ions so I have made one face of the cube of the NaCl cube so this is the Na plus ion this is the Cl negative then plus then negative then negative then plus then negative then plus because you can see the positive can only bond with the neg negative yeah then plus over here negative sorry I don't know why I made that circle over there but let me just quickly erase it plus then negative then plus then negative then plus then negative so you can see that it's a 3d, 3D structure which uh, one face so when you look at a dice this is exactly like a dice and this is one face of that dice so this is how this is how the lattice looks like and it's a very strong structure it's strongly held by these ionic bonds yeah and that's why because it's so packed the lattice is so packed ionic compounds are solid at room temperature yeah because the lattice is so packed so packed that the ionic that the uh, that ionic compounds are solid at room temperature like NaCl MgO all of them are solid at room temperature then this the, the, the strong bonds also give them these two properties they have high melting points and high boiling points because obviously you need a lot of energy to break the ionic compound and because you need so much energy to break the ionic compound the the melting points and boiling points are high and because or because of the same reason they have high enthalpies of vaporization this means that uh, the, the amount the, the amount of energy needed to vaporize a mole of the ionic compound is very high the amount needed to boil one mole of the ionic compound is very high then another property of ionic compounds is that ionic compounds are generally soluble in water so now this is because let's see when I add this lattice structure to water what will happen is that water molecules will surround the lattice okay the, like there will be water molecules here 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 and like this they will surround the surface the water molecules will surround the lattice structure then what they will do is they will start forming bonds with the ions on the surface they will start forming bonds with the ions on the surface of the lattice structure so when they start forming bonds on the ion, with the ions on the surface the bonds within the lattice structure get weakened because obviously the ions are now forming bonds with water molecules these bond, these uh, the bonds that the bonds that these ions form with water molecules are called ion dipole attra attractions you must remember the term ion 
dipole interactions or attractions whatever you like i like to say i and dipole